I've been reading online that adding salt to a candle will make it burn longer. And I just want to see if I make another candle like this but add salt to it, will it burn longer than a baby bell candle without the salt added to it? So that's what we're going to find out today. According to the Baby Bell website, Baby Bell cheese wax is made out of a blend of paraffin and microcrystalline waxes. Unfortunately, paraffin wax burns dirty, and a lot of people don't buy paraffin candles anymore because they're worried that it caused cancer. Based on the information I found during this project, I won't be making any paraffin wax candles anymore. I'll stick to beeswax for my beehives. For the sake of science, I'm going to show you guys how the experiment turned out. Today I'm going to make two identical candles. One is going to have salt added to it, and the other one is going to be a standard Baby Bell wax candle. We're going to see if the candle that has salt added to it takes longer to burn. I threw one of my completed candles on the scale so I could see how much wax I would need. Then I went about making a candle using my traditional technique. If you've never seen one of my candle tutorials, I'll leave links in the description below. While the wax was melting, I measured out some salt that I'd used to combine with the wax in my candle. This salt was made from a previous experiment where I boiled down water from the ocean. I was hoping that the salt would dissolve into the wax, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. So I had to scoop the salt and just add it to the tip of the candle while the wax was still melted. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference in the candles by appearance, but definitely by weight. You can see a regular candle weighs 52 grams, the candle with the added salt weighs 68 grams. As soon as I lit the candles, you could tell there was going to be a difference in the burn time. The salted candle had a much smaller flame than the regular candle. The salted candle actually went out three different times during this experiment where I had to actually relight the candle. The last time I relit the candle, something interesting started to happen. The concentrated salt at the center of the candle had formed into one giant wick. This caused the flame to be much higher and much dirtier than its counterpart next door. This definitely skewed the results of our experiment. Another variable from the experiment was the shape of the flower mold. Initially this candle shape holds the wax, but as it melts down it escapes through the gaps in the rose petals. I wondered what would happen if the wax didn't have a place to escape. I decided to do a variation of the experiment. This time I would use two identical wax candles, but I would just add some salt to the top of one candle, not actually mixed into the wax itself. This time I'd place the candles in containers where the melted wax couldn't escape. This experiment definitely didn't go how I was anticipating, but the results were still really interesting. Turns out, adding salt to a candle does indeed slow down the burn because it prevents it from being able to burn at its full capacity. If we were to compare the amount of light that's put off by both candles, the salted candle would lose. So yes, it burns longer, but it definitely isn't burning as bright. I have several other candle making tutorials in case you want to try making candles for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. We'll see you on the next project.